different and showing you how to cook macaroni and cheese. Mainly the Kraft macaroni and cheese. So without further ado, let's get started. So you want to get a pan. A pan uh, and get some water and boil it up to you can set it to high, low, whichever. I would recommend high. Um, anyway, if you want to make sure that it's at a boiling point. Once it is, you're going to need the, this, this, and some milk. Or water if needed, if you don't have it. So, um... Once, once the water is at a boiling point, which it is now since I'm seeing it, you want to dump the macaroni in the water. And now, this is where the spatula comes in. You'll need this for stirring the macaroni. So, um... You want to make sure it's, it's stirred, and you want to make sure it's tender, not stiff, just tender. Tender enough for it to uh, go, go in the, the, the next bit what, that we will get to. Um, so, what y'all, so what else you're going to need is, um, if I can find it, that would be nice. Let me check the dishwasher. Next down here. <clears throat> Forgive me for... Um, here we are. Ugh. You're going to need this as well. It drains the water from the macaroni. So, um... Let's go ahead and do that and put it in the sink. Ugh. If you have any questions about my cooking or at least how how to make the macaroni and cheese, feel free to drop them on in the chat. I'm willing to answer all your questions about what I'm cooking. But anyway, let's go ahead and rinse all this junk down, just in case. Oh, we also need we also need to keep an eye on the macaroni because if it gets up to a boiling point and and spreads like like if it if it reaches on top of the if it does reach up to the top, that means you're do that means you're leaving it on too long. You have to lower the heat. So yeah. Hmm. Looks like the sink is a little bit clogged. Um I'll be right back, but before I pause the recording, the the sponsor of today's video is brought to you by Lighthouse Vineyard Church. The church that um, is more better than Trinity at Jackson. No offense, guys, but I like the Vineyard Church Lighthouse. I would highly recommend going to the Lighthouse Vineyard Church. There's one in Elkhart, and there's more locations to come. So, stay tuned, guys. Um, I will be right back once I'm once the macaroni is done. And that should buy me enough time to drain some cloggage on the sink. So, stay tuned for the next part.
Hello everyone, we're back live on Mixer and we are, if you haven't, if you just joined us, we are going to make some macaroni and cheese as a part of a cooking lesson. So um, if you just joined, what you'll need is butter, a drainage for the macaroni, which goes in the sink, and also what you'll also need is some macaroni and cheese. My preferred weapon of choice is Kraft macaroni and cheese. So, if you, if you just joined us, we already put them. What you'll need is also a pan, water, and um, the other things I listed. So, um, I've already put the macaroni in once it, once the water was at a boiling point. Let's check to see if it's tender enough. Ugh. Whoa. Okay. Normally I don't like to touch. Normally I don't touch the macaroni, but if if it's us, but if you want to do that too, uh, as long as you do it quickly and test if it's soft. If it's soft, then it's uh, tender. And if it's hard, that means it's not. Um, so, yeah, let's see, what else is there? Just stir it once it's, um, uh, once it's in the pan, and we wait for a few, um, uh, we wait for a few moments, and, um, Yeah, we wait for a few months and then drain the water. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. I'm willing to answer all of the food related questions, specifically the macaroni and cheese. So, and if you would like to try this at home, feel free to do so. This is aimed for beginners who are planning to cook. So, yeah. Um, now, um, if you have any questions regarding the macaroni and cheese, feel free to drop them in the chat. If you're watching this at home, on YouTube, Twitch, whatever whatever streaming service you're on, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I will get to those questions as soon as I can. Anyway, let's go ahead and check on the macaroni. I assume that it might be done. Oh, some water just slipped. Alright, um, oh, now it's burning. Okay. Okay, yep. Once it's tender enough, you can go ahead and turn off the heat. And... If you want, you can, I'll turn the camera over so you can get a good view of the sink. All right, next, what you want to do is go ahead and drain the water and put the macaroni in the bowl. 
Don't worry, I didn't put it down the sink. Don't worry. Uh, you'll see why. This, um, if you just join me, uh, uh, is a drainer. Basically, it's a colander drainer. So, um, what it does is it basically drains any water that was in the pan. All right, we we should be good. So if I move the camera back to where the cooking area right here is, we can actually put this macaroni back in here. Carefully, please. If you want to do this yourself, you're welcome to. And you can also put the colander in the sink. Obviously it's dirty, so. Here, move this camera right here. All right, next you're gonna want to get this butter into play. And before you start, you wanna follow these um, instructions on here, on the macaroni and cheese box. Okay, first of all, all right, if you want to, if you're watching this at, on YouTube, you can pause the video and check it out. Okay, we're back. And we 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 need um, four tablespoons of butter. So if you look right over here, you'll see that there's uh, markers on, like the lines on the one tablespoon. You'll want to cut up. Um, four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to be using a dull knife for this one because uh, so you want to count how many uh, tablespoons there are. So if I were uh, cutting this up I would count by ones. So I would cut in the middle of the butter. That makes half of the butter. Now you want to get the wrapper open. And and uh, put the butter in the pan. Plop. And that should give you enough time to get the spatula and yeah, stir it. Stirring it makes it melt faster. That's my one pro tip for today. I would recommend uh, if, you're, if you're just joining me, we are making macaroni and cheese. Now, if you're like me and you want to Okay, you want to stir the butter in because it helps to melt the butter faster. That's my, that's my pro tip. Always stir the macaroni with the butter. It melts faster. Always remember that. You also want to stir it uh, as slowly as you can. Not, not too slow, but just right enough for it to uh, not get to the top of the pan. And we will 
that should give me enough time to uh, finish up here. So we are going to take a little break. And when we come back, we will add the final ingredients. Cheese mix. And in addition, we will also add a little bit of water. So stay tuned and we will be right back. And we are back. Welcome back to this cooking show on Mixer. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any comments or questions about what the topic is for uh, mac and cheese, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you're watching this on Mixer, feel free to leave them in the chat. All right. Let's go ahead and 
get started with the last steps. If you have milk and um, you, you'll want to put it in the macaroni. Otherwise, you can use water. Just make sure it's enough for Now that now that that's done, last ingredient, the cheese mix. You'll want to open it. If I can, there we go. Easy as pie. <laughs> you want to open it and then pour it in. Make sure you get it on the sides as well, not just the middle. And everywhere else that's uh, missing the cheese mix. And there you go. Now all you need to do is stir it up. And the cheese mix should dissolve and blend in with the macaroni. Uh, make sure you add some water while you're doing it if you don't have uh, uh, what I described. <clears throat> All right. I'm not going to add any more water, just just for precautionary measures because I don't want to overcook it. So, let's see. <clears throat> and I think we're almost done here. cheese mix is already uh, mixed in, you should be done. And, and, got it. All right, so let's recap. Boil water, check. Put the macaroni in the water, check. Get the macaroni tender, check. Um, drain the water from the macaroni, check. Put the macaroni back in there, in the pan, check, check. Um, Uh, I'm trying to recap. Uh, we also need to, needed to put butter in there. That's a check. Put water or milk in there. Check. And put the cheese mix in the macaroni and stir it till it's mixed in. Check, check, check. Yep. That's all you need to know in order to make the macaroni and cheese. And here's the final result. Take a look. Delicious, isn't it? Now all we left to do, now all that's left to do is to test out my uh, macaroni and cheese. But if you want to try that for yourself, you're welcome to do so. Oh. So, I think, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching this cooking lesson on macaroni and cheese. 
Um, if you like, if you like what you see, feel free to give this video a like. Or if you don't, don't prefer this one, you can leave a dislike if you need to, and tell me um, what I need to work on. So, with that out of the way, I think that's it. All that's left to do is eat it. So, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next video. See you then.